N8N is a super powerful tool you can automate almost anything in. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how in five minutes you can connect Claude via MCP to your N8N and create automations with a simple prompt. Now, that might sound a little bit complicated, but I promise you this is extremely easy to do as it was just updated. This automation right here was created in my two hour free masterclass linked below and it generates prompts, videos, and stitches them together to make viral videos like this one. So if you're new to N8N, I highly recommend you watch that entire tutorial, or if you have a little bit of experience, I recommend you jump to the chapter where I go over this layout. Automations like this one take a while to create. It probably took me about 45 minutes, but it would have taken me a lot longer if I didn't use LLMs like Claude. Two good examples are these code nodes right here that I had Claude completely create for me to solve this problem of formatting all my clips into a JSON file that FFmpeg could read. In this video, we're gonna go above and beyond simply just asking Claude for help, and we're gonna directly connect Claude to N8N using MCP. If you don't know what MCP is, here is an explanation by Claude itself, but essentially in simple terms, it's gonna allow Claude to connect directly with N8N and create actions on its own for us, like updating our workflows, creating new ones, adding nodes, and all that good stuff. And in this video, we're gonna be implementing N8N-MCP, this project on GitHub. They'll be linked in the description, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. It's pretty simple, we can just scroll down here, and there's a quick start guide which is really easy to follow. So the first step for us less technical people is simply going to Node.js's website and installing Node.js on your computer. It's extremely straightforward and once you do it, restart and everything should be good. Second step you're gonna to need to take is you're gonna to need to download Claude for desktop and obviously you're gonna need an account to be logged in. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the GitHub link, scroll down to the full configuration and copy all of this code right here. Next, you're gonna open up Claude Desktop, and then you're gonna open up the settings, you're gonna to go to, to Developer, then you're gonna click Edit Config. That's gonna open up this file on your computer, and then you're just gonna to need to open this file with a text editor. Now that you have this window opened up, you're just going to need to switch the code between these quotations right here and put your URL and then these right here and put your API key and I'll be showing you how to get both of those right now. Okay, these are super straightforward. When you're logged into your N8N account, if you don't have one already, I'll have a link below to sign up. You're just going to go to your main page when you sign in and you'll have the URL right here. So this is the all you need for the URL. Just make sure you have the HTTPS and then you end it at the cloud part. Just paste that into the first quotations that I showed you. And then to get your API key is pretty simple too. Just gonna click on our little logo right there. And then we're gonna go to N8N API. And then you're just gonna hit create key right here. And then it will give you the key. And then you'll just paste that into your other text block. Once you do that, you're gonna need to restart your Claude desktop. And then the next time you open it, everything should be good to go. And I'll show you how to check that in just a second. But first, we're gonna go to projects and we're gonna create a new project. You can name it whatever you want. The only important part is you'll see this project knowledge button right here where you can paste in some information and I'll show you what information to paste. So it's super straightforward. You're just gonna go back to the GitHub link that I sent you, go to the Claude project setup, and then you're gonna see this nice block of text right here. You're just gonna copy it and paste it into the project settings. And just like that, everything should be good to go. You have the project knowledge right there, so Claude is gonna understand how to use MCP controls. And then if you go to the search and tools, you'll see that we have N8N MCP right here. All of these should be turned on. If for some reason you don't have it, then it's not working. 
what I recommend is you make sure to maybe reinstall Node.js, uh, reinstall the configuration file, restart your computer, and do all that debugging until it works. Two other important things is I recommend you go to Claude Opus 4, and then every time you are asking stuff about N8N or getting it to do stuff, make sure that you're in this project and asking the project opposed to just the home page. And then one other warning, it has 39 tools and it will be using quite a few of them every time you give it a command. And because of that, you're going to have to authorize always on all of those commands, but I would do that and make it easy for you for the next time that you run your prompts. But let's get started. I'll give you a demo prompt of what is possible. You can ask it to do pretty much anything. It's definitely not perfect, but it is really cool because it's directly integrated into your account and you can tell it to create a workflow and upload it to your account. You can tell it to take an existing workflow and change it and all that good stuff. So we're gonna start off super basic. I wrote out this prompt right here and I'll show you what it does. So it's definitely going to go into depth. It's going to use a lot of tools. It could take a couple of minutes depending on how big of a project you give it. And it knows all the nodes and how they work. So it's going to be doing it at its best of its ability. That being said, almost everyone cherry picks great examples. In my experience, there's almost always a node or two that it's broken. Here you can see it's asking for permission. Once you give it permission, it asks less if you do the um, always. And the best part about the MCP is it's doing stuff like validating the workflow, making sure that the actual nodes are connected and stuff like that. Because oftentimes if you ask it to do all this without connecting it via MCP, it may create something that's completely not even readable. Okay, it looks like it says my workflow is created with this as the ID. And this is all the stuff it did. So let's go into N8N and see if any of this is usable. Okay, I'm now on my N8N. You can see the contact information collection form project that it just created right there. And as you can see, it made this node, I think, because it needed more than just a trigger. But this node is kind of useless, so we don't need it. Um, but if I test workflow, you'll see it created this actual form that has first name, last name, email, phone number. And if we go into it, you'll see there correctly you'll see that they're correctly categorized as the right type of text so it did all of this which is pretty cool and now I'm just going to be demoing what else you can do okay so I popped up Claude and I'm basically going to tell it to remove that node and replace it with a telegram node and that I will be entering the ID manually so I'm going to hit go on this and let's see if it can do that properly. Okay, it looks like it says it's successful. It did a partial modification to it. And let's head over to N8N. Just gonna refresh and see what it did. So, boom. As you can see, we no longer have the other node. Now we have this send to telegram node. And you can see it formatted the text pretty well. Let's see if that works, okay? So let's test the workflow. Just enter my name, my email. Random phone number right there. And then we hit submit. Okay, I just looked into it for a few seconds. I had to paste my chat ID because I didn't know which one to send it to. And then for this text right here, I just had to pop it to expression. And as you can see, everything is nicely formatted. I opened up my telegram. These were the first two test modes and then boom, it gives me it with these nice little emojis and name, e uh, email, the random phone number I put in and then the time submitted. So it did a really great job. I just had to push like one or two buttons to fix the automation and it's honestly really impressive. And I think I'll be using this a lot more for my automations in the future. I hope you found this video extremely useful. If you could go ahead and follow me on x.com slash mentor, that would be super appreciated. I also have a Telegram group called Breaking AI Tool Updates. We have 675 people in there already. 
And then lastly, I highly recommend you watch my two hour masterclass that I posted. If you already know how to use NADN pretty well, you can skip to this final masterclass project right here. And that's where I'll show you how to automate those cool videos. Anyways, thank you so much for the support and I'll see you guys later.